morning guys welcome to Appalachia's homestead out working the farm and the homestead early and I want to give you this tip we've talked about this before so I want to mention it again to you folks here so the weather has been rather mild here in East Tennessee we're still early December so we don't typically get heavy heavy hit 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 with cold weather till January February and sometimes it even lingers into March but here's what's happening we're having all kinds of blessings pop up all around the barn in different areas where maybe you've got some wood and different things stored. Chickweed in particular is growing like crazy right now. I don't let my animals free range over here. There's no way to protect them from open, being open range, predators, whatever, okay? So what I do is when I know there are areas which wonderful things are growing that my girls will particularly love, I go and I get it for them, okay? So that's what I'm doing today, and I want to encourage you to look for this. So if you're having, there's a lot of different weeds, dandelion, chickweed, um, and all kinds of different things that are very nutritious and valuable and that your chickens love. So investigate that. Look and see what grows in your area. This is what mornings look like, right? <laughs> Amen. So I'm coming around here and filling up a big old bucket and going to get just go in there and give it to them because I want to keep the value of their nutrition up, even if I have to go get it for them so investigate around where you are a lot of these wonderful things grow all across the country it's just a matter of knowing what they are and what you can recognize and if the weather is mild enough through the winter a lot of times you're gonna have them so dandelions oh my gosh my mind is starting to race you know what I'm talking about but chickweed in particular is really really good look how rich and green that is so think about that look these things up see what's around your coop maybe the back of your garage maybe i'm known to even go to someone's house if i'm at my nana's house i'm like oh my gosh look at all that clover and she'll let me take it home with me in a bag so hope you're doing well we're working <laughs> that's the way it should be get out there get moving get with your farm enjoy what we have and we'll see you on the next video